So today we are going to be learning a little bit about a few of the turtles that live here at the River Museum and Aquarium. And one thing that I like to kind of point out about turtles is you can tell a lot about how they spend their day simply by looking at the shape of their shell. So I want all of you to put your hands like this, just like mine. And if you have a flat top shell, which is your top hand here, you're more likely to spend most of your day in the water. You want to be streamlined so that you can twist and turn and swim quite fast through the water. The opposite of that is if you have a very tall top shell or carapace, you're more likely to spend your day on land. And a lot of those turtles prefer to almost camouflage like a rock in their habitat. You're less likely to be eaten for dinner if everybody thinks you're just a rock. So this is our Eastern box turtle. This is a turtle that is found here in the US. And you can tell by looking at its very tall top shell here that it is an animal that's gonna be found primarily on land. And it's gonna be walking through the forest looking for things like grasses and berries. It prefers to eat a lot of plant materials with the occasional worm or giant bug squeezed in there. They pretend to be a rock when they get scared. They're gonna be one of the few turtles that can actually pull all of those toes, tail, head, everything in. And then they even have a special flap on their bottom shell to fold up and protect their face. The shell is a great way to actually protect yourself from predators. Um, it wouldn't be uncommon for some predators such as your raptors, so your hawks or your eagles, or even some of the members of the dog family, like a fox or a coyote, to try and eat one of these as a snack. This turtle is a little bit unique in that you can actually tell the boys and girls apart just by looking at their eye color. For most of these turtles, if they have a red eye, they are a boy. If they have a yellow-brown eye, it is a girl. So this one is a male box turtle. This is our diamondback terrapin. And this particular turtle is a little bit interesting because it doesn't live in the ocean, but it doesn't live in the fresh water either. It likes the water that's right in between. It's called brackish water, so it's like a perfect mix of fresh and salt water. Now this turtle likes to kind of hide out in the very tall grasses, the marshy areas, where even though the color looks super, super obvious and easy to spot to us on land, those patterns actually help it blend into the shadows of that light coming down through the water. This turtle's gonna eat a lot of bugs and a lot of teeny tiny fish, so it's gonna be eating a lot of other animals. This is the shell of an alligator snapping turtle, and on this side is what you see when you'd see one of these animals in the wild. But this one, I really like to show off that the skeleton is actually attached to the turtle's shell. The turtle can never ever leave the shell. The shell grows with it. This is a replica skull of a snapping turtle, and I like to use this to point out that big, sharp beak of a turtle. A lot of people don't realize that the mouth part of a turtle is actually called a beak, just like a bird, um, but that's what they're using to rip and tear up whatever animal or plant they are actually eating for dinner, is that beak. No teeth, just a beak. 